times the Isles of Prydain, latterly known by force and deceit as the United Kingdom. All people of the land hear you, this proclamation and declaration. We, the people of the land, hereby solemnly make notice and declaration that we are the indigenous peoples of this land. Further, we declare that we are no part of this society which declares itself to rule over us, the indigenous people. For they have attained their position and wealth by diverse acts of subterfuge and theft of the resources which are ours by right to share amongst ourselves without favour or profit. We, the indigenous peoples, reclaim our ancient birthrights and customs from the treasonous elites who have hidden the same from us for generations seeking to enrich themselves from our common resources at the expense and ensuing poverty of the people whom have become enslaved in the system set up for the elite's sole benefit. We, the indigenous people, have for too long been kept ill-educated to understand our plight, but now we do, and we make and stand under this declaration to once again reclaim our original status and seek recompense for the wrongs promulgated upon us from the beginning until now, with sheer force and obfuscation through their supposed litigation. We, the indigenous peoples, see and understand our connection to all other indigenous peoples and understand our rights and duties to one another without recourse to the guiding hands of treasonous profiteering political elites or to those upon us. We, the indigenous people, make claim from this moment henceforth to control our own destiny and lands and resources and demand the return of all stolen lands and resources back into the control of the people and for the people. No further profiteering may be done or attempted to be done upon us as the true owners of all these things. This proclamation of we, the peoples of the land, is duly made here at Stonehenge, the sacred ancient site of the people, which has been stolen from our care and control and used as a venue source for the blatant theft of other ancient sites from us, the people. Herewith, we reclaim this site and demand that the barriers to free access be removed forthwith to allow us once again to gather in reverence to the labours, knowledge and power source built here by our forebears. Moreover, we, the indigenous people, demand the like return of all other sites now controlled and denied to us. Moreover, we, the indigenous people, recognise that various trusts have been established to control these sites supposedly for the people by the de facto government of the UK. As the rightful owners and beneficiaries of these trusts, we hereby dissolve all such trusts with immediate effect. All profits and proceeds of these trusts to be made immediately available to the indigenous peoples for the establishment of the necessary apparatus to inform all inhabitants of this land of their real position as indigenous peoples. We, the indigenous peoples, also make claim to and demand the return of all common land and all areas enclosed by previous looters of our birthrights, including but not limited to, limited to the rivers and lakes, sea and shore, forest and wood, plain and agricultural areas now held by its inception by supposed legal owners. We also make claim to the skies above us and deny the access to the same by the warplanes and other military aircraft, including, but not limited to, helicopters and drone aircraft. We also demand that aircraft of military type and usage of other governments be immediately denied any access to the skies above our heads and land, for they are designed to strike terror into our hearts and minds. This declaration is made on this day, the 1st of November, 2014, by the calendar in common use, but to be known henceforth as day one of the indigenous people's new beginning, Envy. This declaration of our unable
inalienable rights is made in reflection of the rights guaranteed in the UN Indigenous Peoples Charter, upon which the signatory governments are fully bound by their own hand. We, the Indigenous Peoples, make claim that such document is fully binding on the society and government of that society which we live beside but do not belong to, and will expect compliance of same at all times. We, the Indigenous people, will accept all who wish to join us, and upon their leaving the society of force and profiteers, we will adopt them into the Indigenous people's body as equal in all ways to ourselves. We, the Indigenous peoples, will in due course establish once again our public meetings, and from them we shall choose those of us with the necessary skills to act as spokespeople for the people. Herein and after referred to as tongue. But they will hold only the power to speak as the people wish them to speak, and they will hold no power to bind any of the people to any oath, bargain, or contract with any agency or government which is outside of the people and attempting to influ influence the people through the tongue. So say we, the people who have gathered together in peace and fraternity here today and in other diverse locations about these our lands. Any interference with we, the indigenous peoples, from this time forward will be deemed to be an attack and attempt to silence our collective voice, and as such must be considered to be an act of attempted genocide against us all. Proclaimed this day by myself, nominee Deus, for all mankind to hear and understand. May the spirits of our ancestors be blessed and hear our voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah.